Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Leaf fans have some high hopes beginning this weekend. The playoffs are nigh. Welcome back to BT. Three wide on the couch. Good to see you. Okay, let's start with the on-ice stuff from last night first. The Leafs ended the year on a four-game losing streak. They looked awful and disinterested, especially William Nylander. I'm going to leave that here for now. I feel terrible for Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews did not get his 70th goal of the season. He tried. Oh, boy. This music. <laughs> It's actually very appropriate. He tried to get the 70th goal of his season. Uh, with every ounce of his being, it didn't happen. He had a crossbar last night. He had a post the other night. It was not meant to be. Still, 69 goals is a heck of a campaign and the best goal scoring season in the history of this organization. But only in Leafland could Austin Matthews Mayor get 69 goals and be slightly disappointed by that. I know, and I am. I honestly, I'm. I am sad today over that for him being so Top close, ready. and then just the way the Leafs have played leading up to what we're now going into against the Bruins. I just, why does this happen, Sid? Why are we confined as Leaf Nation to feel this way? When I have, so I'm so full of hope, and I'm wearing Maple Leaf blue, and I just all the things. When I just. <sighs> Corner. I love you, Austin, but man, that was hard to watch. That was just tough. It, it like always with Leafs, it gets so close. It's like a so close, and then no. Done. You know what bothered me last night too? What's I'm that? not a big <clears throat> hockey watcher, but I was paying attention because I really wanted him to sure. get to 70. A lot of people were. Everyone yeah. did, right? Um, was that there was like another big landmark milestone that was hit last night, but for. Tampa Kuch Bay. Kuch Kucherov yeah. uh, for Tampa Bay. Look, oh, coming into the season, only three players ever had 100 assists in a season. Those three players, Bobby Orr, Mario Lemieux, Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky did it 11 straight times. But only three players have done it this year, Connor McDavid and Kucherov for Tampa Bay. Significant, significant accomplishments. And Kucherov might be the MVP. So it was even worse. You're right. It was worse, right? Someone else like somehow. hit Timmy. a major accomplishment. Timmy. I'm so sorry. Timmy. But it, was, it was a little worse. It was worse. Because I see them celebrating, and I'm like, right? Ooh, maybe worse. we get to. And it was worse. No, we didn't. Yeah. No, All we right. Didn't. But good on him. Good on Austin Matthews. Amazing. Amazing. Season. Year. I know. It's like, such amazing. Incredible. Yes, it's incredible. But yeah. I am, you know, I am sad for him, and I'm sure he's. Uh, I just there's a sadness. Yeah. There is. And and then also just in terms of how they played, going into what you know they can't play like that going into what we're about to they've, do. They can't do it against no. the Bruins. They can't do that. I uh, completely agree with you. That Bruins series. So this is regular season's done. The Leafs didn't have a meaningful game for like a month and a half. They knew where they were going to finish in that division. It is what it is with the NHL's regular season. So we move on. Saturday night, 8 o'clock on Sportsnet and the CBC. Game one, Boston Bruins, Toronto Maple Leafs. We don't yet have the rest of the schedule for this series, at least for the first four games. We'll have it probably by tomorrow. We'll have more information. But Saturday night, 8 o'clock, game one, as Tammy's been saying all morning, that is your first must-watch television if you are part of Leaf Nation. Look, the Boston Bruins have won six straight series against the Toronto Maple Leafs. We know the history. There, there is a psychological advantage immediately when you talk about the Boston Bruins and what it means, Leafs and Boston. I'm still going to give the Leafs the benefit of the doubt in terms of what they can do against this team, but I, I do not fault Leaf fans for thinking, here we go again. This Leaf team has to really flip the script on this entire narrative. It's up to them. But I do not fault Leaf fans for thinking this way. How are you feeling, Mayor, about no, that match? I, I mean, not good. I, I'm really not feeling good. But we got a couple days. Like, I think we can take today. Let's sure. take today uh, as Leaf fans and just feel it. And then, and then and players, too. And then we all move on. Because we got a couple days. Saturday is, you know, not tomorrow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right? Yep, <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> okay, good. Saturday is not from tomorrow. Yesterday is not tomorrow. Yes. And, uh, and I also have to say, too, uh, you know, good on coach for, for, for playing Austin Matthews because there was some thought that he might yeah. not, you know, there was some yeah. thought that they, they might not get that shot. So I just, you know, we talked about that on this show, and I'm, yeah, I'd say good. So uh, I, that's how I'm feeling. I feel like we can be sad today, and then we move on. 
and he didn't get the 70, so I was thinking, should they have just rested no, Austin? No, okay. don't do that. no, don't do that. No, 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 no. you can't do that. Well, let's not do that we as a team. We can't go back. We go forward, Tim. Okay, nope. we go yeah. forward. We move forward. Again, a game one, Bruins, Leafs, Saturday night, 8 o'clock on the CBC and Sportsnet. Don't you dare miss it.